Hey guys, it's Mike. Let's talk about Reaper. Recently I had a couple of friends that had some questions about consolidation versus rendering, so I thought I'd make a quick video to demonstrate the differences. Now I've pre-recorded some audio with my guitar, and I plugged my guitar straight into my interface to where the signal is, has no amplifier or anything like that, but I did add an amp sim after the fact to give it the tone that I'd like. So the guitar signal just as is sounds like this. And of course, when I engage the amp plug-in, it sounds like this. Now, in some cases, uh, you may be working with someone who needs dry stems, meaning that they want your audio exactly as recorded if you are plugging directly into an interface, with the intention of them either reamping it through an amplifier or adding their own plugins later. Uh, that use case would call for consolidation, and what consolidation does, even if I had several takes over this, is it will take the full track and glue it or consolidate it into a single file that's project length. And you can accomplish that by clicking on your file menu and going to Consolidate Export Tracks. That will bring up the consolidation dialog that asks you for an output directory. You do have an option to update your existing project with consolidated files and also create a new project with just those consolidated files, but for the sake of this demonstration we'll just export to another directory as a WAV file. You can see I've got uh, got selected that I want to export the entire project of the selected track. And I'll process that and it clicks out pretty quickly because in this case it's literally just exporting a copy of this file. And when I open the directory that was the destination you can see we now have this consolidated WAV file. Its uh, default naming convention will start with the track number followed by the track name and then consolidated in the file extension. Now if I open that in an audio player Hopefully you can hear that, but that is the unaffected dry audio, which in this case would be what the person requested. Now if they requested to have the affected or wet audio with the effects printed onto it, then we can use the render option. We'll go to file and render. Same concepts, we'll choose uh, stems and selected tracks as our source. And in that case, if you had more than one track, of course, you can hold control to, to select the tracks that you want. We want project length as well. And we will put this out as a WAV file. Now, there's a couple of options in here. You can choose to send in stereo or mono, or you can choose four through eight channels. There's also an option here that normally is unchecked, but that is uh, tracks with only mono media will be exported automatically to mono, and tracks that are stereo will be, uh, will be rendered to stereo. One caveat to this is if you're using a mono track, like my signal here from the guitar is of course in mono, but if I were using a stereo reverb, I would want to make sure to render that as stereo so that both sides are rendered properly. But in this case, since it's just mono, we'll put that at stereo and have this check marked and render the file. That takes a little bit longer because it has to pro process the effects that are on that track. And I'll show that in the Explorer and listen to that in my audio player. And as you can hear, the amp sound is printed on that audio. Now, if we were to drag both of those files into Reaper to analyze them, let's see. We'll put those on separate tracks. And we can see that this second file is a little bit longer, but that's because the render gives an option to add a 1000 millisecond tail at the end of the render just to make sure that if there are any effects that tail a little bit longer that those are captured. But they're starting at uh, the same point relatively and you can see the dry one is a mirror image of what our DI was on the first track and the wet one of course is a bit bigger because it's louder having that amp sim on it. And that should sound identical to my first track with the effects on. And then my consolidated track should sound just like the first track if I were to turn the effects off. If I were to turn the effects off. Let's try that again. And there you have it. So essentially, consolidation is used when you want to export dry tracks to someone else to possibly reamp or add their own, own effects after the fact, and render can be used if you need to print your effects directly to the wave to send to someone else 
that may not have the same amp that you used or effects that you used. Hope this helps. If you liked what you've seen, be sure to check the Buy Me A Coffee link down below, and also be sure to like, subscribe, share, you know what to do. See ya.